day, good day, and welcome back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and see what our soul purpose is for tonight. All right, so I hope you all are doing well. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit like, comment, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so that you know when I upload into the channel. All right, so spirit, what do we have tonight? What do we have tonight? Okay. So tonight, mm, so it looks like you'll be awaiting some important information here. All right. Some, some serious messages is going to be coming in. And so you have to really be paying attention to these, to these messages. You know, you're going to be receiving a lot of guidance from spirit, um, but it's going to be very imperative and important for you to listen to these messages. All right. Mm. So shifting your perception, like the way you are seeing things, you know, this is the air guardian. So the way that you're seeing things, it may not be entirely the way that it really is. Okay. It may not be entirely the way that it really is. And so spirit is like, look, I need you to just, you know, change your views on things just a tiny bit, you know? Okay, so definitely having to move away from some of these ancestral patterns because some of these ancestral patterns are actually what's holding you back. So here's the elder card here. So anytime you see the elder card, you know that the primary block or the primary thing that's hindering your growth or hindering whatever it is that you're working on is part of your belief system. And so that's probably why spirit is just really wanting you to shift your perspective and understand this information that's getting ready to come in because we got to change the way we are thinking here. All right, because our way of thinking and our way of doing things has not been beneficial to our growth or beneficial to the things that we got going on in life. OK, yes. And so you're moving in a new direction. All right. You're traveling. You're moving in a new direction. And so here we are. All right. You, you, you're gone and you're not taking a lot of things with you. And that's great because that shows that you're going. That shows that you're not carrying a lot of baggage here. All right. So you definitely um you're definitely in a, in a new space all right you're definitely in a new place and you're definitely headed in a direction that you know you probably didn't see yourself headed in a couple of months ago or a year ago but this 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 move is happening all right so this move could be you know you could be separating from someone or you could be just you know just a change of scenery right you're just changing things up you know because the old way of the old way of doing things and the old way of maneuvering was not working all right mm. okay so here's some things concerning failure so right now like you you got some issues surrounding failure all right but a lot of times people see the failure card they're like oh my goodness this is my tower moment you know but these are just uh, thoughts you know this is these are these are thoughts okay and so you have not failed all right. You have not failed. You actually the fact that you're um, trying to figure out whether you fail or not shows that you have not failed. OK, so you're just trying to understand some things. You might feel defeated in this area, but just give it time. You know, everything has a season and this was the season for things to die out. And this was the season for things to change for you. All right. So you did not fail. You just um, old things are dying out. Old habits. You know think these things are no longer working and therefore you just have to listen for these messages so you can know what will work all right so number seven mm, purify so yeah it's time it's time for you to to cleanse yourself it's time for it's time for you to cleanse your mind body and spirit purify all these impure thoughts you know it's time to release all these impure thoughts there's a lot of it's a lot of things that have to go okay balance is coming in okay some balance you're looking like you, you've been having some difficulty balancing things out but you can definitely expect balance coming okay mm. okay ecstatic union okay so this this union is about to be like shakti okay so this union is about to be unbelievable right this this union that's where this balance is coming from. So this union, union right here, you're going to feel like you're like complete. You're going to feel like every chakra is balanced, right? You're going to just feel like this is where you belong here. 
All right. So for some of you, some of you going to get this union and this union is going to be like this. This is it. This is where I belong. This is where I'm supposed to be. OK, so this expect this ecstatic union uh, to come in. Spirit, what else? What else do we have? What else do we have? Let's see. Mm. There we go. So still having some trouble surrounding um wrong beyond the norm. Alright. Listen. This is not optional for you to look past the norm here. It's not optional, right? This is something that has to take place. All right. Some of you are actually experiencing that. You you're thinking deeper. Number 14, you're thinking deeper. You're you're doing things differently, all right? You, you're you're actually paying attention to the messages that you're receiving and kudos to you. So you have to go beyond your normal way of thinking. You can't think in this dimension anymore. I mean, you can to operate in it, but when it comes to you becoming more spiritually aware and connecting more spiritually, it, you're, it's going to require a lot more effort in the spiritual realm, Okay. And so diving for the light. Some of you are just really like looking for this information. 11. You're trying to find source. You're trying to find spirit here. And that's what you're supposed to be doing. So, and if you're not trying to find source, if you're not trying to find spirit, like look, you got to dive for that light. You got to keep going for that light. Okay. Keep going for it. Keep looking for it. And it's coming. All right. You, you're going to connect with it. The, the more you seek it, you will find it. All right. Spirit, what else? Okay, so sensitivity, look. You're sensitive around a lot of things. Here we come. All right. Can't be around th these harsh things. You know, Spirit keeps telling you to remove yourself from it. Get away from it, okay? And they're telling you to do this so that you can grow. So that you can continue to grow. You can't continue to grow in this space. This space no longer serves you. These people no longer serve you. These people no longer benefit you. They do not uh, assist with your growth or development. And spirit, like, look, you got to honor this and you got to get up out of there. Okay? You got to find your divine passion. Like, be honest with what it is that you want. What do you want? You need to know what you want. Right now, you have no idea what you want. And spirit, like, that is not okay. You have to figure out what it is that you want. All right? And part of knowing what you want is connecting with your divine passion. And that is something that you have yet to do. And some of you have. So you really have to dig deep and figure out what it is that you truly, truly, truly desire. All right. Spirit, what else? Ooh. Okay. So once you figure out what it is that you desire, once you find out what it is that you want, once you begin to balance yourself and get past these, um, get past these different norms, spirit is like, Surrender your attachment to the results. Who cares what the outcome of this thing is going to be but you? Just know that you've done everything that you possibly could for this situation, for this idea, for this creation. You did that, right? And because you've done this, now you have to surrender your outcomes to the results. Because guess what you're going to end up doing? You're going to end up sabotaging it, y'all. Spirit like, uh -uh, don't sabotage. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up because I don't gave it to you now. Don't mess it up. <laughs> So surrender your attachment to the results. All right. Figure out what your desires are. But surrender the attachment to the outcome. Oh, yes. So y'all family is showing up heavy. So maybe the thing that y'all need to release yourself from and that some of y'all don't no longer fit in. Some of y'all don't no longer fit in these families. Okay. Some of y'all don't no longer fit in these families. So you got to, this needs to be worked on. Some of y'all need to heal what's going on with y'all family and y'all tribe, whatever it is. Like, if it's your family, if it's, you know, somebody that was part of your tribe, like, this thing needs to be healed, y'all. This needs to be healed because it's going to be difficult to move forward until you heal this. I ain't saying, like, like I told y'all, I'm not with the whole buddy, buddy, friend, friend thing. If y'all don't fit with somebody, y'all don't fit with them, but heal it so that you can move on from it and just keep on moving. I ain't talking about calling them say I forgive you. No, not that. I'm talking about healing it within your soul. Aligning your, aligning your soul, healing it within your soul, and then like, boom, you know? Feeling some entrapment. You you feeling like you're not in control here. You're feeling like you're not in control of your life. Why is that? 
So we got to work on that too. This is something that needs to be healed. You got to take back control of your life. You got to really get gain a clear understanding of what it is that you got going on. You have to gain that control, that total control. Okay? Nobody else. All right? Spirit, what else? What else do we have? Mm, sensitivity. See? This sensitivity is serious. Okay? And the reason why the, the reason why spirit just keep throwing this out at you, shifting your perspective and all that stuff, is because they they, they they trying to tell you like that surrounding no longer fits you. Those people, those foods, those things, all that stuff, like it does not fit you. Okay, it's like you got to get up out of that mess. You know that's what they're saying. Like you got to get up out of this. You know this this. This is not designed for you anymore. The longer that you stay in this, you know, the longer you're going to, you know, the more undue stress you're going to cause yourself. The more disruption you're going to cause yourself, the longer you sit in this. Okay? Clear yourself. You got to release yourself from your spirit. Like, look, you need to get the heck on from whatever this is. Okay? You got to release these toxic energies because if not, they're going to be absorbing you right they're gonna be taking so much of your energy so you gotta ask your guys you gotta ask your angels like look help me clear this seriously because it's toxic it that is it's not doing your soul any good throat chakra you gotta speak up tell them what you don't want step into your power Step into your power. Clear it. Okay? Tell people what you don't want. Speak your truth. No matter how harsh it may sound, speak your truth. Okay? Mm-hmm. And you get nervous, focus on what you do to help people. Okay? Focus on your service. All right? Anytime you get nervous, just put all that energy towards how is what I'm doing going to help somebody else. All right? All right. So, y'all, Listen. This is serious. You did not fail, okay? Actually, things are going pretty good. Just a couple of things that need to be healed first. You definitely got to stop sabotaging yourself. Pay attention to these messages. Change your perspective. You know, get rid of some of this, this ancestral thought pattern because it's, it's not serving you. It's time for you to make some adjustments and make some moves, all right? Some of y'all about to move away. Some of y'all about to move into a new direction you know some of y'all some y'all you about to move states some move places or y'all about to just move into a new direction in general and going into this new direction you're going to find balance and you're going to have this union that's going to feel euphoric it's going to feel like everything is just aligned okay all right but you got to surrender your attachment to the results whatever you create you got to surrender your attachment to those results because all that's going to do is just cause you stress Okay, but again, you need help getting up out of the situation, right? You too sensitive to be hanging around some of these people because these people is not vibrating on the same frequency as you and you forcing yourself to vibrate on that frequency. That's why you're having migraines. That's why you're, you're, you're feeling discontent, like all that stuff. Like that's why, because you don't fit there. All right, and so open your mouth and say what it is that you want. Say what it is that you desire and speak your truth. Hey, y'all, if y'all interested, go ahead and follow us on Patreon. Also, if you're interested in personal reading, the link is in the description below. Um, after next week, I'm not doing any more personal readings. And I'll holler at y'all.